What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back on Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. It's time to explore Mount Moon. Alright, so let's head to the basement here first to start this episode. Check out what's down here. I don't actually remember how to get through Mount Moon, so we're just going to have some fun with it. Oh my gosh. Alright, we'll fight the Team Rocket. We Team Rocket are the Pokemon Bandits. We strike fear into others with our strength. Alright, our first Team Rocket battle. Team Rocket Grunt. Radita, really? Really, Radita? What's it, level 10, probably? 9. Okay, the one shot on the Radita. We're still one shotting things. <laughs> 44 XP. I want to use Mew, but Mew doesn't know anything good. 252 bucks, nice. Okay, why? Why is. Why? Why are there so many of you? I'll Zubat. And a move right when I threw that. This thing's kind of, it's still kind of hard to throw and have it go exactly where you want it to. It's just a little bit... Okay, I don't know how that one works. It kind of wants to... Like, just because of the way your hand motions, it wants to arc it that way. I'm going to try to... tilt my hand this way and throw. Okay, I didn't even... There we go, that was better, but it's still it's still kind of awkward because your hand doesn't actually... I mean, even when you throw it like this, your hand tendency is to throw it a little bit angled. So I'm going to have to, I don't know, not work on that, but keep that in mind. It's easier to throw it like this for this game. Because you can't sit still and wants to move around. Party play. Okay, my... I can't... So hard to control. Okay, are we good? I think we're good. Alright, Geodude, give me some space. Let's pick up this item. Ooh, a rare candy. Definitely worth coming down here. There's a parrot. Oh my gosh, so many Zubats and Geodudes down here. Nice throw. And it was good enough for the catch. A little bit better experience that time. 53. We're getting our Zubat catch counter up. Alright. Sneak by them. Grab the Paris. That was a perfect throw, but I didn't let the I, I, I like, haven't been caring about the circle because I'm trying to get, like, used to this. But I do need to, like, like right there, throw it there, even if you don't get the good or great or excellent, whatever. Just throw it anyway when it's the best. There we go. See, got the excellent throw. If I would have been randomly throwing that, it would have been nothing. And we get the excellent catch. I wonder if you can do the curveballs in this. So in the thing, you like spun it. Well, I'll try it the next time. In Pokemon Go, you could get curveballs. Let me try it. Well, I'll try that the next Pokemon we battle. 
or try to catch. I didn't read the Pokédex entry on Zo on Paris. Hold on. We'll go up here. And with Pokédex... Where is Paris? There it is. Burrows under the ground to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of the nutrition. Alright. So we explored down. Now we gotta explore up. Because down was... I wanna battle her. Let's battle her. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. Um, down was that area we went and had the trainers that were spinning around down there. Last of Miriam, the end of the last episode. Got a cook fairy. Level 8, Thundershock might be enough to one-shot it. Nope. Gonna take 2. Well, Clefairy, you did better than most Pokemon. You took us to a second hit. Pidgey to level 13. Last Miriam beat. Three Pokeballs, 160 bucks. Oh, here's James. Yikes, quit following us. Okay, so let's hit the ladder quick here. Let's go down. Chansey. I did not know these could spawn. Yeah, definitely going to be a hard Pokemon to catch. Let's go Raspberry. And let's go Great Ball. So, okay, so there's not really a way to, there's not a way to, like, do the curveballs. There we go, excellent throw. Beautiful. Excellent throw onto the Chansey. 420 XP. That's what the Chanseys do. They give you a, a bajillion experience. Every chance you see, gotta catch in this game. It's gonna be huge. Alright, Thunder Wave. Get rid of Tail Whip. Pikachu forgot Tail Whip and learned Thunder Wave. Mew got the 14. I mean, are you going to learn something useful? Nope. Pidgey, 14. Oddish, 13. Kakuna. Oh, Stun Spore. Yes, please. Uh, let's get rid of growth. I wonder if Oddish can to turn that Oddish into uh, Poison Powder, Stun Spore, um, Burn. I think, what is it? Burn? Or Sleep Powder. So it'll be... Poison Powder, Stun Spore, and Sleep Powder. I think I want to get rid of Acid. Let's get rid of eh, a Acid or Absorb. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I want Absorb. Because then that's an attack that can get us health back. And it's also a Grass type move, which is what we need. So we learned Sleep Powder. Kakuna level 9, Kakuna level 10, Clefairy to level 12. I think I'm going to bring along Chansey. Double slap, let's get rid of Defense Curl. Oh, what? Kakuna is evolving. Here's our B drill. 
Level 10 is all it takes, huh? Alright, Beedrill's model looks pretty cool on this. That stinger is gigantic. Beedrill's data added to the Pokedex. It has three poisonous sneakers on its forelegs and its tail. They are used to jab its opponents repeatedly. Beedrill learned Twin Needle. And here's Chansey's Pokedex entry, a gentle and kind-hearted Pokemon that shares its nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. Okay. Actually, I don't want options. I was about to... We want to shake it here. Okay. Clefairy, you're out of the party. Chansey. You're into the party. And I think Beedrill, you're out of the party. And I think Onyx is in. I, mean, I think Onyx is the better Pokemon. So we're going to do it like that. I got Beedrill. So if I want to go back to Beedrill, I can go back to him. But I think Onyx is the better. My gosh. So many Pokemon down here. Got a Nugget, so that'll be good for some money. Just a bunch of Clefairies and Parises down here. Okay. Wait, was there a way to get to that item that I didn't see? I can't tell. Can you walk this? No. Okay, so that means there's a ladder somewhere else to get that item. Okie dokie. Back up. Did you come to explore the cave too? Youngster Josh. Sandshrew. Eh, this will be a little bit more interesting of a fight. Let's go double kick. Okay, we'll just have to double tick kick again and we'll get it. Accuracy down. Hopefully we don't miss. Oh, we're good. The three shot. 47 XP. Youngster Josh. 160 bucks, three Pokeballs. I gotta remember the next Pokemon I run into. I've gotta switch off of Great Balls. I wasted some last time. Hiker. What are you... Fight. Whoa, you surprised me. Oh, you're just a kid. All right, Hiker, let's do this. Hiker Marcos. Geodude. Ge oh, he's got two Pokemon. Oh, and they're level 10. Finally a challenge here. Someone going to get my Pikachu out of here. Probably not. Oh, he lived. And he used Sand Attack. What a waste. What a waste. Now I'm just gonna hit you with the quick attack. One Geo dude down. Do you just have two Geo dudes? Level 16 Pikachu. Another Geo dude. Keep battling. Double kick. Just gotta leave it with like minimal health again. <laughs> oh, he used rock throw. How much damage is it gonna do? Nothing. Just double kick again. And Geodude's been mopped off the face of the earth. 59 XP. Should probably level up me. Oh, no, I didn't. Hiker Marcos. Whoa, surprised again. Five, 400 bucks, three, 400 bucks. Hiker here was loaded. All right, 
That's great. Oh, okay. I guess we're fighting this, or we're catching this Geo dude. Switch back to regular Pokeballs. Oh, come on. You gotta give me that excellent throw. We're getting better at it, though. Alright. Geodude caught. 32 XP. He's got a Raspberry out of it. Mew leveled up to 30, or to 30, to 15. I wonder how many Pokemon you can have in your box in this game. Found a pearl. Let's talk to this guy up here at the top. Ha! Hey, I see you have plenty of Pokeballs. If you ever run low, come talk to me, okay? Really? Who's gonna remember to go back to him? I guess he's kind of there for new... Why does Meowth not talk? It bothers me. Yo, dude, I'm looking for chances. I want to find more chances because they're just gonna be—they're a gold mine of experience. Got to revive. All right, another Team Rocket grunt. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Are you now? Do you have a better Pokemon than Radita, like the last run? Oh, a Drowsy, okay. What level is your Drowsy? Nine? Thundershock might one-shot it. We'll see. Uh, no. I'm gonna be the two-shot. Hypnosis. I'm just gonna... Hope. I'm not gonna switch out. I'm just gonna wait till it wakes, till Pikachu wakes up. I don't think the Drowsy can kill me. Confusion, that's a strong attack though, but it did no damage. I'm sure it'll stay asleep this turn. Yeah. It might stay asleep one more turn. I, w I wouldn't be too annoyed if it stayed asleep one more turn. But anything after three is just terrible. Yeah, there's the third. It. If it's asleep after this turn, I'm going to have to heal. There we go. Good fight, Drowsy. You put up the best fight in this game so far, except for Brock. 59 XP. Team Rocket Grunt. So, you are good. If you see me, like, trying... I haven't been reading these post ones because my mic sits right here. Uh, 252 bucks. Okay, so now I definitely have to heal Pikachu. Pikachu is full of energy. I'll pet ya. I don't really know how this gets rid of your energy, but... Get over here and give you a raspberry. This is so hard to control. So hard to control. There we go, buddy. Okay, let's get back to getting out of this cave so you can run around. Alright, potion found. I don't even think I gave him a po- I didn't even give him a potion. Aren't those dark colored things fossils? Alright, Meowth, go get those fossils. Good, it gave me an opportunity. Uh, medicine pocket potion. Yeah, I think it's worth it.
All right. Quit goofing around and go already. Okay, do we just... All right, I guess we just continue. Really, a Clefable? This is something I did not expect to see at the beginning of the game, but here we are. Raspberry. Not really. I'm gonna have to time this for an excellent. And I missed to the right. This will probably not catch. Okay, it caught. Uh, okay. Another new Pokemon added to the decks. 168 XP, nice. Onyx and Chansey finally leveled up. They er they appear to be very protective of their own world. It is a kind of fairy rarely seen by people. Alright, so we've got up there. Okay, that's all we got is up. Alright, Team Rocket Grunt. Let's battle. Challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Zubat. Probably not the best option for you. What is? What? Pikachu used Pika Pow? What on earth? Holy crap! What? 43 XP? What was that? Boy, that really makes me steam. 252 bucks. Wow. So, Pikachu's got some special moves. This is the fossil, dude. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. One is... I don't even remember. Is one Omanyte and one's Kabuto? I don't even remember what the fossils are from the original game. A Voltorb, so we got electric on electric. Can I shake my controller again? No. Uh, I guess double kick? Yeah, this is fine. This will get the job done. Light screen. Block it from special attacks. But I'm just going to double kick you, so really matter. Voltorb down. What do you got second? 65 XP. Chance he got to level 10. Magnemite. Probably should have put in my Onyx. Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna double kick again. Probably will kill just as fast as Onyx would. Or, nope, never mind, it's gonna one shot. So, I don't think Onyx would have one shotted, so. Best to have kept Pikachu in. 64 XP. Pidgey got to level 15. Pidgey wants to learn a wing attack. Um, I'm gonna get rid of Gust, I think. Yeah, let me get rid of Gust. I want to have Mirror Move, and I want to have Quick Attack. And I don't use Pidgey all that much, to be honest, so it's not a big deal. 400 bucks. Give me one of those fossils. Fine, we'll each take a fossil. It's no good being greedy, right? Yeah, it's Omanyte and Kabuto. So I'm definitely going to take Kabuto. And then that pretty much relegates... That relegates Onyx. The dome fossil, yes I do. Got the dome fossil. I definitely want Kabutops over Omastar. Alright, then the other fossil is mine. Okay. Is there 
now I'm like checking corners and crap for items. Okay, stop right there. Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. Or how did you even get here ahead of us? We're Team Racket. I'm Jesse. And I'm James. And you're Meowth that doesn't talk in this game for some reason. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Is this a double battle? Challenged by Team Rocket, Jesse, and James. Ekans and coughing. So Pikachu and Mew. Okay. Let's Thunder Shock the coughing. I guess pound the coughing. Let's take the coughing out first, because it can poison us more easily. I don't think that's going to take it out, but it'll be close. Ekans use acid. No poison, please. Tackle by coughing on Mew. Okay. I'm going to Thundershock Ekans and hope Mew can actually take out coughing. This is why Mew is, like, useless right now. Ooh, Swift actually hits both. That was enough to take out coughing. Nice. Pikachu got to 17. Anybody else level up? Yes. Oddish got to level 15. Quick attack. Pound. Alright, GG, Jesse and James. Sixty-eight XP. Oh, Mew almost leveled up. I can't believe it. A twerp beat us? Ooh, eleven hundred bucks. Jesse and James, looks like Team Rocket's blasting off. I'm sure we caught all the Pokemon on that there. Like, I, I can't imagine we missed any. I mean, I caught a Clefable and a Chansey. I can't, I can't imagine there's one, like, rarer than that. I'm trying to catch all the Pokemon on every route. It's kind of hard to know when you caught them all, though. That's the one issue. Do I need cut to get to this? Some, some of the items I see and you need cut to get them and it's not even like worth trying. Okay, can't even get to that item yet. Oh, there's the, uh, there's Mewtwo back there. So we're at Cerulean City now. So we made it all the way to Cerulean City, all the way through Mount Moon. So here's the bike shop. Let's go in here. Let's get ourselves a bike. It was cool getting to see all his rare bikes, but boy, the bike maniac goes on and on. My bike collection is impressive, isn't it? I won't let you ride or buy one, but feel free to have a look. Okay. Well, thanks. Oh, Pikachu wants me to go to the fountain. Okay. A fountain is shooting out water. Do you want to throw money into the fountain? Sure, I'll throw 500 bucks. Why not? Let's hope for Mew to learn some good moves. You threw 500 into the fountain. Made Pikachu very happy. Pikachu looks happy. Okay, so this is... This is... Uh, this is the water gym. It's gonna be the easiest thing ever. 
Pikachu's actually go is gonna make this gym such cake. It's not even gonna be funny. This will probably be maybe the easiest gym I've ever fought in my entire life. Just by how this game goes, I'm sure I'm slightly overleveled. Did they give Premier Balls back in the day here? Yes, they did. Or at least they do in this game. I'll buy 10 more. Anything else that I need? I don't think so. No, we're good. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. In the next one, we will take on Misty, which will not take the whole episode. And then, I don't know what we'll do after that. Maybe we'll just cer explore Cerulean City. See if there's any hidden gems here. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out!